and the importance of making renewable energy sources. These are the lines will help me to make the paragraph to present this section. I am proud to say I am the SPBM and the SPB is flagship company of SPB Ashwin Group and the SPB was established in 1960s around 20,000 tons per annum with comprising of pulp mills and two numbers of power machines. But now the production rate is ultimately increased up to 165,000 tons per annum with five numbers of paper machines. And we are making product 100% biodegradable and recyclable. We are, we are making papers for writing, printing, posters and especially books. And we are helping marginal farmers to plant over 17.9 crores of seedlings every year in about 20,000 acres of the land. And the most important thing is we are using 61.5 percentage of energy from renewable sources. At present, we are at 70 percentage. With this topic, what is energy conservation and why we have to conserve our energy? We all know <coughs> we all know what is energy? Energy can either be created or destroyed. Only we can change its form to one to another. In such a cases, if you are not conserving our energy, the demanding of energy will be raised. Meantime, the energy which is produced by fossil fuel. Hence, fossil fuels imports and impacts also will be high in our environment. In so, so, as per our uh, IPCC, our IPCC Scientists warn global temperature of 2 degrees Celsius will be exceeded during the 21st century unless rapid and a deep reduction in CO2 and three other greenhouse gases emissions which, are, which will occur during the coming decades. Already the time is running out. Greenhouse gas emissions are choking our planet and global heating is affecting every region on earth. And many of these changes will become irreversible. The alarm bells are deeply now and the situation also irrefutable. So it is mandatory to understand the current scenario so to conserve our energy. It is best example if we when we change our light from old inhalation pulse or halogen pulse to LED, now we are improving our energy. Efficiency. But whenever we, we, we leave the room, we have to switch off those lights. This will be the energy conservation. So we have to use less energy efficiently and should avoid excess energy to conserve our energy. As far as UN frequency by COP26, the new targets and policies have been given for all the countries. With that, we can reduce our greenhouse emissions and maintain our environment more sustainable. And ultimately, coming to our nation, we can reduce our energy imports and the uh, cost that can be used for poverty reduction will be avoided. The limited source will be conserved and our energy security will be improved. And ultimately in our industry side, we can reduce our energy bills and reduce our quality and competitiveness and ultimately profit. From this slide, we can come to know that around 44% of energy intends to buy <coughs> industry side. So we can assume energy can Accounted, it is one of the most important input for our economic growth and also our human development. So we have to take alternative source for using our energy. That's why our SUV will be always manufacturing and the focus will be on minimizing environmental impact and global warming, elimination of waste 
on maximizing green resources in our organization, sustainable development, and improvement in performance efficiency and profitability. We are being a national leaders in the energy and we are aligned to conserve energy to commit to the national energy goals. In our company, each and every employee will play a vital role in energy field because we have the self generation unit in that we know how much energy we have to put to take the outcome of as well as power and steam. We always worked on sustainability of the raw materials. And we share the best practices followed by us to, to all our employers in the district. We always participate and discuss with our policy makers. We are the pioneers in circular economic concept. And we are conducting preliminary examination for our employees. Those who are selected will be trained by our experts. Actually, energy expenses are unavoidable. One of the best way to manage the energy and increase the efficiency is to create an energy management team. We have a dedicated energy management cell with high level structure and focusing, focusing on functional area with more dedication and patience. And the daily monitoring and review of power consumption, steam consumption is being shared to all, all our HODs and that is being taken a part of our agenda in our day-to-day -day protection meeting. Actually, this is the energy management software we have used in various plants. Energy audit programs are inexpensive investment. In via the software, the energy audit will quantify as to detect each, each department energy consumption and can the consumption on the where the peak consumption is happening and the days where the waste also happening. After energy audit has been done, our energy audit auditor will prepare a detailed report about the technical feasibility, time frame needed, and the possibility gains that we can achieve. And this is how we create an awareness about green co energy through our green co newsletters, gate meetings, and also classroom trainings. Actually, continuous improvement is our way of life, way of our life. We adopt 8420 rule in Energon projects and various projects through our cases. In previous years, 19 to 20 and 21 to 22, we are implementing lot of projects. With the key project, we are using biofuel instead of fossil fuels. Initially, we put chipper dust around 40 to 50 tons along with coal and we are taking the drive. With that, we observed there is no major deviation in our boiler. So hence, further, we are husk into 50 to 60 tons along with our coal. After that also, we didn't know there is no issues in our boiler operations. So now we are continuing this process and ultimately we saved around 79 ton per ton of coal in our CPP FBC type of boiler. In SPB, greenhouse gas inventory is collecting and reporting principle of GPC. We are always working on group CAPI solar model to increase the renewable energy share and to increase in biofuel to increase our renewable energy share up to 70 percentage and we are collecting CNG from unit 2 and firing unit 2 and light kill and we are saving around 600 metric ton of furnace site per year and we are buying products based on energy labeling and we have a separate green coat procurement policy which focuses on reduction in energy and procuring green products. Actually this is a chart we can find that in scope 1 where we have ownership and control. The emission was around 2.1 lakh equivalent of CO2 and the major contribution of coal from 85 percentage 
and the HFO 10 percentage and around 3.8 percentage from imported limestones. In verse 4 to the emission was around 10,805 equivalent ton of CO2, the major input from imported trades. And the scope 3, the emission was 21,469 and the major impact import from the raw materials. Actually, this is look like the building correct. We only build that for whatever renewable energies we have. We solve these issues. In that, the, the thermal and electrical share on offsetting positive unit is around 64.39% 64 and 48.660% and almost the substitution of renewable energy source is 61.5 percentage, which we have achieved. Waste is only waste if we waste it. Actually, we are adopting circular economy concept. Other than the economy, we explore it is cross-sector economy, where the material life is expanded and that will be the raw material for other industries. And the filter cake with with all used for boat manufacturers and lime sludge, lime grits and flares will be used in cement manufacturers and the ESP as will be used for detergent manufacturing. These are the benefits we have Thank you sir. These are the benefits we reaped. Actually, the specific energy reduction around 23 percentage by implementation of various ECS projects and the water conservation around 23 percentage by water rainwater harvesting and we are substituting renewable energy that will reduce the biofuel, uh, fossil fuel instead of biofuels and the emission reduction around 25 percentage by usage of biomethane gas to replace furnace oil and we are using 100 percentage sustainable of sourcing bulkos by work concept that will be the replacement of 83% of limestones. And these are the highlights which is shared by our peers in other events. Steam sailing from spiral heat exchanger around 25 tons per day. Green steam generation from recovery boiler after installation of MC, MP steam indirect heater around 95 tons per day. Process re-engineering in air operation plant 500 5% uh, increase in the renewable energy source and the digester modification to enhance pulp production and the green energy. 32 tons per day pulp production increased and 4% increase in renewable energy source. Usage of biofuel to reduce fossil fuel consumption in CPP around 40 tons per day coal reduction is there. And usage of biogas to reduce fossil fuel consumption in lime kiln around 3.5 tons per day for oil reduction is achieved. We are meticulous in setting our energy targets for ourselves to fall line with the national and the global interest on net zero emissions. Actually, our path towards goals are, has, has been started in way back in 2015 and we have achieved a 27% of reduction in operations emission and 100% FSC certification, increased renewable energy sources. 70 percentage on carbon positive and now we are working in procurement of more indigenous material and ISO 50001 EMS certification installation of PCC plant by December 2022 which we can reduce around 80,050 ton per day of CO2 reduction and by throwing, we are exploring process heating by solar thermal and elimination of waste and biomass heating with flue gas. And our future projects are hybrid energy, supply emission reduction by 40%, scale up our renewable thermal energy innovations, scaling up pulp production for self-sufficiency. We conclude that the energy demanding is surveyed of the fittest and fosters. It is the time, need of the heart to prove ourselves. So, it is, uh, immediate implementation of energy consideration is the most important parameter 
to achieve our energy conservation and towards net zero emissions. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhupada.